Good morning. Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's been a minute, I know. The last video was show day, but we are on the way to the pro card now. We are 10 days out. Have a high day today, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating. Switched it all up completely. Gonna go more into that deeper into the video, but for now, this is it, what breakfast is. We have three eggs, 100 gram egg whites, spinach. We have 100 grams of blackberries and strawberries, 100 grams together. And then we have two, two packets of the maple brown sugar oats with cinnamon sugar-free syrup, and then a protein coffee with 15 grams of the Ghost Cinnabon protein. Gonna chow this down, gotta work out later today at this uh, pretty cool gym, it's like a private gym, so take you guys along the way, show you my meals. Yeah, 10 days, baby, pro card attempt. See what happens, baby, let's see. But going to enjoy this, and we'll catch you guys at the next meal. Next meal, we have the pre-workout meal, which is, just drop my spoon in there. Pre-workout meal, which is 90 grams cream of rice with 30 grams of the Ghost Oreo protein. Gonna chow this down and then head to the freaking gym. Back day going down. We'll see you guys then. We are on the way to the gym. Classic freaking me. I'm late, so I said 12.45. It's, it's 12.45, I still got like a 15 minute drive there. So we're driving there now. Luckily, homeboy's chilling, waiting a little bit but made my pre already. I'll show you guys probably after like what I put in it. It's a little bit different this time, but fire back day about to go down. We will see you guys at the gym. It's a pretty sick gym, so should be some fire content for you guys. Stay tuned. See you guys there. Peace. This gym is freaking insane. So a little backstory, St. Louis is like ran by First Form in S2. S2 is a supplement store and they carry First Form, which is a supplement brand. It's all ghost guys, just, it's ghost, okay? But they built this freaking private gym. So they have a First Form gym and then now they have this S2 gym. It's private, absolutely insane, lighting goes hard. But back day going down, super excited. It's gonna be a freaking fire lift. Vibes are high, energy's high. Let's get it, baby.
exercise one. So a little physique update. We are 10 days out. See how we looking, baby. <laughs> Legend, thanks for getting me in here, brother. Losing the spoon again. SMH. Post workout meal, we have 80 grams Rice Krispie cereal and one scoop. Cinnabon Ghost Protein. Tell me what, guys. This I look forward to this every single after every single workout. Like completely changing the game. Then post workout, instant protein, instant carbs, filling the muscles with the nutrients we need. But I'm gonna chow this down, let it digest a little bit, do some computer work, and then on to the next meal. We got a everything bagel, avocado, and chicken. Looking forward to that. But Fire back day, feeling good, ready to eat, that's for sure. Gotta dig my spoon out of this now, but we'll see you guys next meal. Next meal we have an everything bagel with 30 grams avocado, 100 grams grilled chicken with some hot sauce. Gonna chow this down and then I need to head to the gym and do my cardio. Probably hit the sauna too, take you guys along of course. Gonna chow this down. See you guys probably in the car. Peace. Yo, what is up? We are in the freaking whip now. Gonna go do cardio. Didn't do fasted cardio this morning, but honestly, I think it's gonna be nice, like being having a few meals in me and going and doing cardio, especially today since it was a high day. But gonna go hit probably, I think in like 40 minutes on the stairs. Not sure. I've been doing 30, in between 30 and 40, so that's the plan. Probably sit in the sauna for a little bit, come home, and then I need to prep ground beef and chicken, so shouldn't take me too long. And then I have two meals left. <sighs> we're, we're getting there, baby. We're getting there. But see you guys at the freaking gym. Peace. So I forgot to show you guys, but I was ended up talking to one of my buddies. Did 35 minutes, but did 35 minutes. Thing said I burned a thousand calories. I was freaking moving. I think I had like 2,700 steps, floors. I don't, I don't know. I'll have to look at it. But feeling great. Cardio, honestly, not bad at all. I'm straight cruising through it. I'm at the point now where I'm like, let's bump up the levels a little bit more. Let's, let's just challenge ourselves. But enough yavin. About to go hit the sauna for a little bit, and then. I had to go meal prep, baby. It's getting a little late, but we'll get her done. Post on a physique update. Feeling fucking crazy, honestly. See how we look. Go. Yeah. 
Lil Rogi, Team Rogue, Bugs in. Sauna done, cardio done. Boys a little bit gassed, but energy's high, vibes are high. Didn't really talk. I think the last, I haven't even edited the show day video from the last time yet. I'm pretty sure it just ends with me like winning, but so I didn't really get to talk to you guys much about that. Honestly, I'm still riding the high from it. Insane to win a whole like overall show like that. Didn't, honestly, like I had high hopes, but I'm always, my mindset going to any show is you never know who's going to show up. You know what I mean? can only bring the best that you can bring and that's what I thought I did you know so obviously it worked out took overall first place class a the shortest class of course and then battled it out in overalls was one dude had a pretty pretty solid back but I think my conditioning is what honestly won it and we're digging deeper this time so I'm not gonna say who yet just because I haven't really talked to them about it but at my last show, I actually had two, two dudes that are high up in the industry, like competing wise, like Olympia level. So they came up to me post show and asked me like what next steps are. And I honestly was like, you know, I was looking to see what the judges were going to tell me, get the feedback, see what they think that I need to improve on. And they pretty much told me that I, they think that I have what it takes to, to go pro. So with that being said, we hopped we hopped right back into prep. Honestly, all I ate after my show was one one Reese's cookie, and then I treated myself a little bit the next, like the day after my show. I just got Mexican, but I had like a nice breakfast, eggs, bacon, avocado toast. Didn't go overboard. That's that's for sure. So mindset's been good there, honestly, and then obviously I was self coached so I was eating like the same thing for like the last like probably six weeks of prep and I honestly I wasn't tired of it but it was good it's good to switch I've completely switch it up yeah as you guys have seen so a lot I've learned a lot from these guys which is nice and I've always said to myself like I want to do this myself but obviously get to the point once you want to reach a higher level you're going to need some type of mentorship and, but I didn't want just some scrubbed up coach that, you know, doesn't, doesn't have any credibility, doesn't, doesn't have any pro athletes, you know, stuff like that. So when I got this opportunity, I was like, you know what, like, I felt like it was God telling me like, this is your chance. Like if, if this is what you want to do, go all in. Like, so it's essentially what we're doing. Feeling great. Like having the guidance is taking a lot of stress off of me, just like, I send check-ins every morning and I, I get a high day, a low day, or a rest day, you know what I mean? So they have all the food tracked out ready for me to go, so I just follow the plan, you know what I mean? So that aspect of taking the stress off of like thinking about what do I gotta eat, what if I eat this, am I gonna, am I gonna be watery tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. So it's like they're doing the corrections and I trust them, you know what I mean? So that's nice in that aspect for sure. Still doing all the training myself, so feeling good we have 10 days to go just dropped like twenty five hundred dollars between plane tickets show entry tanning hotel but you know you got to pay to play you got to pay to play but feeling good just wanted to give you guys a little update on like where my mindset was and how i'm kind of going about this prep but feels good fats are stupid low though i'm not used to eating this low of fat like my low days i've had the 13 grams of fat which is crazy carbs are still high but i like it because like my carbs are centered around my training like i have the cream of rice pre-workout and then i have the rice crispy post-workout so it's like it's more purpose purposeful if that's a word like you know what i mean i have my carbs for training so i can actually get a pump and then post training for recovery so learning a lot enjoying the process but yeah freaking crazy man i didn't i did not honestly like i ex i wanted to win overall at that last show but i honestly was like yeah we'll see what happens and i'm telling you guys when they called out 218 my number freaking heart dropped man and i don't know i haven't said much about this but like the last like year year and a half my my faith has just increased a lot like more connected with god 
I go to church every Sunday. And I don't know, me and before I went on stage, I prayed with grace. Just pretty much essentially saying like, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Like all the glory goes to you regardless of the outcome. I'm grateful for this opportunity. And I honestly, like, like I'm getting chills thinking about it right now, like talking about it. And like I literally felt his, his, the presence of God before I went on stage. And I'm not trying, I'm not trying to push it down your throat at all, but I'm just saying like, if you, if you don't have much faith in your life, tr seek it, you know? I'm not telling you you gotta go to church, I'm not telling you you gotta read the Bible, like just take a little baby steps and see what it does for you. Cause I'm not, it's honestly completely changed my mindset and my life in general, honestly. But it's a pretty yon long yap sesh, but I wanted to get it out probably gonna vlog tomorrow because I have a posing session with an IFBB pro men's physique he's gonna help me with my posing complimentary of the dudes that are helping me out which is I'm telling you guys it's, it's all about the connections but so I'll probably vlog tomorrow again but still got two meals so gonna head home probably shower and then make a meal we'll see you guys back at the crib all right shut up for a second bro what? Shut up for a second. Oh, I got you. Next meal, the most fuego, most fire meal, the one I look forward to. We have a hundred. Let me give you guys a little look. We have 130 grams of grilled chicken, 30 grams of avocado, bunch of air fried asparagus, as always, and 60 carbs worth of sweet potato. This is going to absolutely hit. I have him on the last episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Very sad, very, very sad. So I gotta find a new show. So hey, drop some show, show suggestions in the comments. But gonna chow this down. Still have one more meal after this. So I will see you guys then. Last meal of the day. Capping the macros here. We have 130 grams of 96.4 ground beef with about 30 grams avocado and some air fried asparagus. Pairing it with a Pib Zero. These are a rare find. My brother found some, picked them up at Walmart, but top tier Diet Zoda right here. Number one, no doubt. But I'm going to enjoy this and then Probably just head to bed. It's like 10, 10 30 right now. Not optimal. I'd like to honestly get my last meal in before then, but had a busy day, had a meal prep, so all good. But you know this is gonna hit and then gonna pick up the camera again tomorrow. Have that posing session like I said, so take you guys along another day in the life. Got ten days, baby. Hopefully I get these videos out before uh before show day. Until next time, peace.